Good morning and welcome in. I am the Canadian trucker Rudy and I am here with Diego. I'm Trucker's Rudy's son. Well, thank you guys for joining my channel and stay tuned for the rest of my day. It's only 10,000 pounds. I like that when we have a nice light load. That's always nice. <clears throat> but now we have to leave this nice green area up here. And it's a little hard to see vehicles coming from there and the bushes are so low, you know. There we go. But now we're gonna put the hammer down and make our way home. Yeah. We'll see how it goes. If everything goes well today and tomorrow, then I might be to home tomorrow. There's a good chance that I might be home tomorrow. Very good chance. If if I just keep her steady today, it's a very good likelihood. All right, I-55 North. That's what we want. We want to go north. <clears throat> no, I don't have to worry about the scale like I was saying earlier. <laughs> I was saying earlier I was a little bit worried because usually like these loads that we hold, like the stuff that I got right now, is usually a uh, very heavy load. And 
and uh, no, it isn't. Miles. Slide right on I-55 North US 61. The better for me. I can get better fuel mileage. I make more money because I get paid by the mile, and the lighter the load is, the better I do on fuel mileage. The more money I can make. Let's get down the road and have ourselves a fun day and a good day. All that good stuff. Alrighty guys, it's time for me to go inside and have some breakfast. Alrighty guys, we are having breakfast. Got me the uh, Philly cheese and steak omelet. And got some orange juice, coffee. And we are good to go, so let's have a bite tea. Alrighty guys, we finished taking care of business. I was across the street from the Loves here at the Fly and Jay. Had ourselves a good breakfast. Filled up the truck because it's a lot cheaper up here than it is further north or almost any other state. I only paid $2.49 a gallon for fuel. And I did super, super good on fuel mileage. I did 7.62 miles per gallon that is US miles per gallon now it's that is very the good to the left on that is a little bit north. over 9.1 Canadian miles per gallon that is just fantastic yes now we're going to get back here on the highway and Put her back in high gear and put the cruise on and get some good miles behind us. I haven't done that much driving yet, but the day ain't over yet. It's only noon. It's actually 12.30 right now. But yeah, well, a little bit of a late breakfast, I guess you could call it, but... I don't really like eating right away in the morning when I wake up. I don't feel hungry. And I like to eat when I'm hungry, not when I am not hungry. For 35 miles. <laughs> Anyways, let's put her back in high gear and get some good miles behind us. I'm pretty light so I can speed up pretty, pretty fast. some fun I did my windows like jukebox likes to call it <laughs> what I mean by that is I cleaned my window cleaned all the bugs off the window you know anyways I hope you guys are having yourself a good day and I uh, hope you guys are uh, joining me on my travels alrighty guys we are just cruising along here and it says it's a narrow lane and I can see that. <laughs> My truck barely fits in between these lines. That is super, super narrow. Yep. I don't know why they make these lanes so narrow, but I guess they're trying to fit three lanes into a narrow bridge like this. but. I don't think that's a smart idea in my opinion anyways, but that's just dangerous in my opinion, but I guess they're just trying to get the traffic across this narrow bridge, but I think they could do fine with two lanes. Might be a little more conge congestion or whatever, but uh, I think it would be safer. Oh ah, well, we made it across. Over wide open again. <laughs> They got this whole thing under construction and I guess that's why they're trying to keep it in three lanes, but anyways, we are having a fantastic day, just cruising along and enjoying the beautiful sunshine. Yep. Life is fun when it's uh, nice and sunny, no accidents, no tickets. When you have a light load like I have, no wind almost to speak. 
because well there is a light wind but not too crazy no storms life is good at least it is to me but anyways let's keep on rolling keep on rolling alrighty guys we are gonna go pull in here and see if there's actually a truck stop GPS says there is a truck stop up here Lewis Access Road. We'll go check it out. And then well, there is a scale sign up there, so there must be a truck stop up here. Yeah, looks like there is a bunch of trucks in there. Hopefully, I can find me a parking spot in there. Yeah. Hopefully, it's not all filled up already. It almost looks pretty packed in there. Jeez. Oh, no, all the way in the back there. There's lots of room in there yet. Oh, yeah. Other guys were saying that uh, you can always park up here, but I wasn't sure. I'm not familiar with this truck stop. I've never been here before, so and you never know until you get there, right? But anyways, turn left on. Great looks like a fairly big truck stop. Destination on the wow. left side in 300 Yeah, that's feet. huge. Well, they even got a dinosaur or something up here. Yeah. Uh, they got a tractor tire up here uh, for their stop sign. Uh, the, the tractor tire is holding their stop sign up here. <laughs> oh, wow, that's interesting. We're going to have to do some videoing. See what kind of interesting things we find in this truck stuff. As I said, it's a fairly big one, so they might have all kinds of interesting things in there, right? You never know. Let's go check it out! See what we got! Well guys, didn't I tell you guys they had something really cool in here? I'm fixing to show you. Have a look at this. We got a water fountain right inside the truck stuff up there. Yeah, lots of people are throwing coins in there. Right? Yep. I told you guys this is a new place I've been and you see all kinds of new stuff. When you go to new places, eh? Yep. We're going to go have ourselves a bite to eat and then get the heck out of here tomorrow morning. Alrighty guys, we are finished for today. I went inside the truck stop, had me a bite to eat and looked around a little bit to see what kind of things we got in there. And yeah, the usual stuff I guess at the truck stop except for that uh, water fountain that you guys saw. But other than that, nothing much new in there. But anyways, we had ourselves a very good day. I think we got far enough today where I think I can make it home tomorrow. Yay! That would be so awesome. Yes, then I could have all Saturday and Sunday off. And then be back on the road on Monday. I think that would be the way to go. If you were a truck driver, you know, especially a long haul driver. Man, that would be the perfect ideal situation. You couldn't ask for anything better at least in my opinion especially if you got a family at home you know you could spend the weekend with them and and at least uh, if you were home on the weekend you could also spend time with your friends and family but hey we're done for today I'm just about ready to go to bed so uh, we will catch you on the next one Hope you guys will uh, join me as well tomorrow. So thanks for watching. And we shall see you tomorrow at 2 a.m. behind me that day is gonna come